hello everyone and welcome back all right we have plant meal and we have plant meal from eastern tropicals i don't think it's the first time that i uh, ordered for them i think i've ordered last year or two years ago i can't remember but i found a, a card business card from eastern tropical after i ordered those but yeah i don't know so this is happening when i'm sad and frustrated and i can't change anything i buy expensive plants that i can't afford so let's see good packing so far we have these plastic bags which are handy yeah this is what i found this but it was with the discount code so we have uk passports here okay let's see the first one let's take this off so i can show you the that's a good way to pack What on back of leaves are normal, mist regular, but do not allow substrate to stay damp. Sarah. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Let me take a scissor. If I can find my scissors, uh, the plant room is really, really hot. This will be interesting to grow. This is not a scissor, obviously, so I don't have a oh, good, 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 good. You know, I hate when other YouTubers take a lot to open their plants because I want to see them quicker. But that's a really nice packaging. Really. Sorry. I was rudely interrupted. So, this one, it's Microsorum Thailandicum. I'll show you the name, so, in case you don't understand my English. Look at that blue leaf. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, that's a fern, and she will go in Lekka, obviously. I'm not sure where the setup will be yet. She looks like she's in moss at the moment, so I will check the roots later, but I'm sure that they are all right. Really nice plant. And I love the note on the cardboard. Let's see this one. Okay. Everyone knows which one is this one. Oh, God. I really needed a um, scissor for this, but they just arrived, and I was in the garden. Oh. But I was with them I will definitely say that they are really good at packaging. Ooh. This one is a medium medium silver a really a really good sized plant for the price they they really do have good prices compared to everything else around so yeah I will definitely definitely recommend recommend them this one has a bit of yellowing here what do you think is that oh wow I hope it's not a virus or something. Hmm? What do you think? Is that normal? This leaf will die? Oh wow. Well. Not a biggie. But it does have a really big... Ooh, look at that. So this vine can be propagated or... She already has area roots or I will put a big pole for him to climb I don't know I, I will have to think about it but yeah that's a good size plant 
for the money so yeah i will keep them there they are awesome so far i didn't see the roots should, should you check the roots let's check the roots so eastern tropical i i will obviously link them in the description of this video or link their website i think they have uh, They have an Instagram page as well. I can't talk, it's too hard. Right. So we do have some good roots there. Oh yeah, I can't say I can't say anything about that either. I don't like that yellow spots because they are at the base of the leaf. They are not at the top of the leaf, so I don't know what to say about that, but if you do know, please leave a comment down below and tell me what are those thoughts. So, according to Sarah, the spots on the back of the, the leaves of this blue fern are normal. So, what she was talking about, it's these spots. Are these spores? I think they are spores. I don't think they are spots. Yeah, I think the plant is trying to to put out some spores. What do you think? I'm not an expert about this. But this one... Oh, well. I don't see any roots. I will obviously not keep it in this... It's... Cocoa husk, perlite, moss. But to be fair, I kind of see. Mm, no, I don't think I see any roots. Well, I'm telling you what. I I will put them in my cabinet uh, with the humidity separate, just them two, and. Uh, I will convert them to inorganic media with you guys so I can show you more in depth what I'm doing with the fern and with the midream. So they will go in my humidity tent, however it's called, I don't know, and for two or three days and I will leave them there to recover from, from the stress and after that I will film a video about this. How I convert them to inorganic media, both of them. So, see you in my next video. Bye.